In this video today, I'm going to speak about how you can make a good impression at the start of an internship. Now, I've already got a few videos on internships. I've got a whole playlist on the channel. So I do recommend that you subscribe because there will be more videos coming up. But why is the start of an internship important? Well, I'll give you a few reasons. Firstly, the first thing employers are looking for when you start your internship is your attitude. Don't worry too much about your ability. I often hear nerves before going in thinking you won't be good enough. Your attitude is the main thing that needs to be right at the beginning. Secondly, the earlier you impress with the attitude and then your ability will follow on with that, the more opportunities you get. It's all about the trust the employer has in you to give you more responsibility. And the more opportunities, the more responsibility you have, the more chance you get permanent employment. When you start an internship, you need to have the mindset, you're trying to get a job out of this. You don't have the intern mentality. Have a stronger mentality that when it finishes, they're going to offer you something. So what does this mean to you then? How can I stand out if I'm going to start my internship? I'm going to give you five different things to consider. Firstly, this will be the most petty one out of the five, but wear the right gear. For me, this stems from my time at Leicester Tigers. I was given my kit the first week I was there. And you're told, respect your kit. And this means wear it with care, washing it, ironing it. Sounds really basic, but I've often heard interns come in. They haven't got the right gear on and they'll say, well, sorry, it's in the wash. And that's not good enough. That sounds a really poor excuse. And you're getting the basics wrong. It's a really bad first impression. And also, if you're trying to accessorize, you're wearing the kit, you're disrespecting it by wearing a snapback or a fancy little bag on the side. You have to respect the kit you're given when you wear it. Secondly, get to know people. So when you start your internship, typically you'll have one person you're quite close to. That's the mentor that's brought you in. But there's a lot of people out there within that company that you can speak to. And if you kind of distance yourself or bypass those people, you're really just crossing your fingers and hoping that one person you're sticking to is going to give you a job at the end. Now, when I say this, though, you don't ask like everyone that you meet in a company. Some people you're just not going to gel with, and that's fine. But ones that you do get on with, get in touch with them. Maybe send an email between sessions. So something like this. You might want to pause it to read it in your own time, but I'll send a brief email like this where you say, well, it was really nice to meet you the other day. Um, I'm really interested in what you do. And I'd really like to discuss this further. If you had time, I'd love to get 20 minutes with you next week to discuss it a little bit more. Something like that, very short, very polite. Get the ball rolling. Thirdly, again, very simple, but just listen, take note. You want to make sure you're not on your phone. Massive problem with interns on their phone, scrolling for Instagram. That can wait. You're only there for a few hours. You've got the whole evening to do whatever you want. So stay professional during those hours. Body language as well. I've seen interns come in, hands in their pockets. They're not really that bothered by the looks of it. If you have the attitude, the employer will have the same attitude with you. Well, if you're not that bothered, I'm not going to put a time in trying to develop you. And ask questions. For me, if I have a meeting with a student, they've arranged the meeting. But once you start talking, they're not asking many questions. It's not very inspiring for me if I have to keep the conversation flowing. Same for an employer. You've actually gone out there to try and get the internship. You've actually been given opportunity, but they're not really asking anything. You have to ask questions. You have to try and learn. And one way you can do that is bring a pad. It's a good visual aid for the employer. They're looking at you thinking, well, they've got a pad. They're taking notes. They're actually showing that they're engaged. They're interested. And you can observe stuff. So if you're not hands-on, you're just watching, take notes. Show that you are taking notes in front of people around you. Take notes from your questions as well. So ask questions, speak to people within that industry, write stuff down. Don't write everything down. You don't have to know every single thing that you hear. You need to really write down the more novel information and some of the complex stuff as well. Let's give an example. If you walk into a gym on your internship and someone points at a dumbbell and says, well, that's a 70 pound dumbbell, you'll look a bit daft if you get the notepad out and start writing that down. You don't have to write everything down. Just the more novel stuff, the more complex information. Number four, show initiative. When you start an internship, you might be given some material like this. They might say, okay, well, before you start, here's some papers and here are some videos. You might be one of a few interns within a group. And if all the other interns are reading just that information, you need to be thinking, how do I stand out? Well, I'm not just going to give the stuff that you're giving me. I'm going to go away and read more. 
certain individual, read twice as much or find something else, a podcast, a blog, whatever it is, just find more information. Now, you don't want to brag about it. You don't want to in front of the other intern saying, well, yeah, I've read more than you and come across a bit of an arsehole. But it's more about the subtle conversations you have with the coach, with the employer, whoever it is. Just casual conversation. Oh, yeah, thanks for those papers, but I listened to this podcast. It was really good as well. Have you heard it? It's by so-and-so. Just little subtle things like that will show the employer that well, you're actually doing your own stuff away from work. Finally, do a bit extra. Now, you're all in different circumstances. Some of you might be going into a 50, 60-hour-a-week internship. So I'm a bit cautious about saying to you guys do a bit extra, but some of you might be doing seven, eight hours a week. And you'll be in those sort of sessions and the boss will say to you, okay, we're done now. Um, I'm going to stick around, but if you want to go home, go for it. What do most interns do? They go home. They've been told to go home. Okay, cool. If the circumstances are right, stick around. So if you see the boss is doing something you can help with, for example, bringing the cones in, it could be tidying up in the gym, whatever it is, or it could be another session going on. You're not supposed to be involved in it, but you'll say, well, do you mind if I just stick around and watch? It's not just the stuff you'll learn from being there, but it's just conversations. If you stick around for a bit more time, you have an extra conversation that the other interns didn't have with the boss. You're using extra time to network, give yourself a better chance of getting that job at the end. So what are the main messages from a short video? Well, firstly, you need to start well. That's the main message, but you need to be consistent. It's all well and good starting off well for the first two weeks, but if you dip off, they'll notice that, and it's a really bad ending. Secondly, be curious, but have common sense as well. Um, if you're asking a million questions, the boss looks really stressed, really busy, and you're just chipping in all the time, your notepad's in their face, trying to find out everything. You know, it's all about common sense and timing when you're asking questions. Also, show you're learning in your own time. I just mentioned a minute ago, do the extra work, the extra podcasts, videos, journal articles, whatever it is, do the extras. And be a team player, get your hands dirty. If it means cleaning up after work, sticking around for half an hour to give a hand with that. If the company's got a big delivery coming in, they're in loading stuff off the back of a van, little things like that that maybe you don't have to do, but just get involved. Okay, so that was my video on how to make a good impression at the start of an internship. I would recommend that you do subscribe, keep up to date with other videos that are coming out very soon. And if you'd like to discuss your internship in more detail, get in touch on Instagram at Sports Science Hacks. Okay, thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next video.